Welcome back, graduates. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom SVG icons. Uh, there are a lot of resources where you can get your own icons, and then you can just port them over to your website. But if you want to be, you know, really uh, unique and create your own, I'm going to show you how in this video. This is using the Comify theme. And so what we have, for example, for the trust badges, scrolling all the way down, is you know we have a, a chalice, we have a heart, and we have a truck. These are the more basic, common SVG icons that you will be able to see. Bootstrap icons, there's a lot of other resources as well. But these are nice, and they're free, and um, you can. there's a lot of options here. So you know, like traveling, heart, uh, like, activity, things like that, and you can really customize your store for the trust badges. Trust badges are really just important just in itself. You know, I, I go into here and I see none of these really, really, and none of these really stand out, and so I just want to uh, create my own. And so there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can do this in Photoshop, you can do this in Canva, uh, you can do this in a lot of uh, places that give you uh, free resources, not just paid resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, for example, I'm just going to go into PNG Wing and uh, let's make this an SVG. So right over here, there's this image here. It's a PNG. I'm going to download this at the moment. Close close that out and it's going to download right here. There's another um, program that we use. You know, you can go onto Google and search um, PNG to SVG and it will uh, convert into an SVG file for you where you can go and grab the path and then uh, paste it into your store. Uh, however, we have this program called Vector Magic. Um, it is a paid program and it looks something similar to this. So what we're going to do is go into our Vector Magic. There is a license for this. Um, and we're just going to go and paste this into Vector Magic. This is right now a PNG. And I'm just going to go into Next. And I'm going to continue with the process and it's going to turn this really crisp image just like this into an SVG. Done reviewing, sometimes you have to remove the um, background, sometimes you don't, but because it was a transparent PNG from the PNG, um, PNG website, it was already a transparent PNG to start out. So I'm just going to click Next and I'm going to save this. It's already a C at SVG format. I'm going to save this and I'm going to name this as Parts. And right now it is an AI file, so I'm going to uh, uh, put this into a SVG file, scalable vector graphic, like this. And I'm going to save it. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I have it in my downloads, and I'm just going to go and open it with my Chrome. So right over here, this is what I have. And the next thing you're going to do, and this is the same logic for uh, creating custom uh, SVGs and then bringing it over, I'm going to inspect the elements. And right over here, I'm going to take the SVG path itself, uh, the SVG element itself and not the path. Just take the SVG from the SVG. I'm going to edit my HTML and grab this whole entire um, the whole entire SVG. It's not just the path, and it's not just like the ID. It's the whole thing itself. So once I copied and paste, and once I copy that over, I'm just going to, for an example purpose, put this in here. And now you'll see that it's really large. Um, don't worry about this. Right over here, this is where you can change the width. And um, matching the other, for example, the width, it's going to be 24 by 24. So let's see what happens when I change it to 24 by 24. So that is a bit too small. So I can adjust this and make it and play around with the sizing based on uh, the icon itself. Because I want it to be visible enough, um, but I don't want to um, make it too small. So the height I could reduce to 45, or I could do um, 80 and 80. And then these are just other um, basic icons that we created as well. And then so these two, the width and the height, are the only ones you should really uh, be able, really need to touch itself. Um, then we have the text right here. And sometimes it will create a really wide space. So you want to look into the spacing here. 
And if you do like these how-to videos more, uh, leave a comment down below so we can provide you more content, more valuable golden nuggets um, 